Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, another face of the week. But I just want to do a face using, well, not everything is going to be new purchases. I'm trying to use most of my new purchases. Like, mix them together, see how they work. Alright, so I was supposed to do this. My face of the week, but I had an eye injury. Like, this whole eye was like bloodshot red. It took forever to go away, so... All right, let's start. I had a great weekend though. I really got to relax. I watched football and I had a good time. All right, so I purchased the milk primer. I know you guys saw this and I'm not a primer girl, but I saw the shimmer and it's not like I don't have so many stuff that has a glow. I've used this twice. I like it. Um, so this is a true primer, although it has, you know, the shimmer in it. What I like about it, because like the glowy stuff that I have, like the Dior and my um, Radiance Booster. So I've been doing two pumps. It's more wet, like more illuminating. This is a primer. So it's, you see the glow when you put it on. See that? But when it dries on the skin, it has a shine, but it's more like a normal, I don't know if it can be like a normal shine. The best way I can describe it, it's like drier. And this was $30. Um, it does grip the makeup because I, I had the, um, the regular primer before. I thought it was nice, but I don't know. I've never really found a primer that I felt like really, really kept my makeup in place and looked so amazing. My makeup looks so much different. All right, um, I got interrupted. So you see it has a nice, pleasant glow. See that? Can see the glow right here i think it's really nice and um makeup sits very nicely on top of it nothing gets patchy or anything like that all right so i'm gonna use the easy blur recent purchase because i've used the patrick ta twice on camera my original shade and then my updated shade so i figured this is my newest um foundation um i have it in 440 G, which is cinnamon. I have been enjoying this a lot. This and the Patrick Ta have been really trying to use, get used to it. And I really have to um, put half, half of a pump. Um, I'm gonna try to and I say try to because it's difficult for me because I'm like, I'm such a makeup fan. Oh, something is on my face. All right, sorry about that. So um, I'm gonna try to like not purchase as many foundations. I have to finish at least one foundation, like finish it. I haven't finished a foundation. The last foundation I finished was the original YSL All Nighter. And I got a sample of the, because I know it's reformulated, like who asks for that? I hate when companies do it. Like, I love the old formula because I, I repurchased the old formula off of eBay. Somebody had it on eBay and I was able to find it. Um, That was the last, the last foundation that I finished. This is good. This easy blur is good. All right, so I'm gonna pair it with, which I haven't done. I'll pair it with the MAC Concealer, recent purchase. This is the Radiance Concealer. I have it in NC45. And this is a good one. This is a really good one. MAC, I think, is having either 30 or 25% off or something like that. I got a few emails. Um letting me know so if you guys but well, i don't know if this because it's new if this is going to be part of it 
But if you guys want to um, check out this concealer, this may be a good time. Because I, I think it's the sale is still going on. All right, let me go ahead and blend it out. I'm so happy now that I don't have to do all this color correcting. I can just go straight in with my products. Because before, after that milk primer, girl, I would have been color correcting with my NARS. And it's a lot of work to keep clear skin. I mean, oh my God, like, I mean, I've always worn sunscreen, but another thing I started doing, which I guess a lot of people may find surprising because it seems as though I'm the only person who wasn't doing it. I started double cleansing. Um, I feel like my skin is like so much cleaner because I would just, I was just doing makeup wipe and my regular wash and then, you know, tone serum, whatever. I double cleanse and I use the La Roche, La Roche Pochet, whatever, how you say it. <laughs> I've been using their oil and um, water based cleansers. Um, I double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup, like if I'm gonna, after I take makeup off, cause you know, I wear sunscreen, but if I'm not, like when I get up in the morning, I'm not double cleansing. I'm just using the, um, the water based cleanser um, but if I wear makeup, because every time I wear makeup, I put my sunscreen on, I double cleanse and, um, I don't know. I feel like my skin, I just feel, my skin just feels cleaner. And the amazing thing, I think with these new purchases, I loved everything. Like I loved everything. Um, like I said, this is the third time now I'm going to use this primer. I like it. I love like the glow of it. I think it peeks through beautifully. It just looks nice, especially as like um, the day go on. I've really been loving it. I see um, Patrick Star one size to drop in the foundation, girl. <sighs> I don't know. I, I just have enough. I really have enough. So I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing that foundation or even picking it up. This is what I'm saying now, but it could change. All right. So for cream bronzer, you know, the other day, not the other day, well, a couple weeks ago, I picked up my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in shade three. And I really liked how it looked on my skin. So, you know, like I said, I decided to pick up shade four because why not? This is a, this is a no judgment zone here at this channel. So. We're just going to watch. We're not going to say anything about me having this bronzer. But uh, yes, so it would be nice if I can get it open. Um, so this is shade four. I didn't realize how rich it was because I remember when I had purchased this, I purchased online. But look at the two together. This, this is a huge leap. And I'm here for it. Um, this gave me like a nice, um, no, <laughs> this gave me, I would say like a nice bronzing, but I think this is going to really give me like a nice contour. So here we go. I haven't used it. I, you know, I swatched it because I picked it up in store. I swatched it in store and this is a clean brush, my Mario brush. And, um, I did a little squash when I get home and I cannot wait to get this on my face. Oh, we love new stuff. <laughs> and I love the formula of this. It's like a creamy matte. It's not too slippery. Well, maybe because I have dry skin. That is gorgeous. And this is definitely more contouring. And I'm glad I have the two. Because shade three is definitely more like if I'm bronzing. This is a contour shade. It's gorgeous though. I love the, I mean, you guys own this. I know. And I know you guys have shade four. Or shade three. Or two. And you know, it's good. It's good. I'm, I'm going to get so much use. I'm probably going to use this more than shade three. 
Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's lovely. All right, before I go in with my under eye powder, and I want to use my one size powders. I haven't used these on camera in a little bit. Um, I'm going to put a little, I, I want to do like orange on my cheeks um, today. I'm going to go in with my Neo Nude, um, this Armani. I heard this shade is discontinued or it's not available anymore. I think somebody had said that to me. I could be wrong. I think that's what I heard. Um, somebody had said to me one time. And all I have to say about that is like, again, who asked for that? Like, because I heard um, people on TikTok were saying they reformulated the um, Givenchy powder or something. I didn't... I didn't really pay that much attention, so I'm not sure what exactly they did with it. But I heard people complaining and people were um, giving um, alternatives. Um, I never grew to love that powder as much as everybody does. So for me, it was like, eh. But yeah, um, see how pretty that is? There's nothing like a good orange blush. Really nice. Um, yeah, so I think some of these companies, especially when they have products that um, are like cult favorites and, you know, has a big following, they should put it out there. Do you guys want this or not? I mean, we're buying the product, right? All right, so I'm going to mix the two. One on top of each other, I'm going to start off with Rich Peach. Um, I love doing that, and... As you guys know, I decided to use this and I've been obsessed with it. And I like putting down the rich peach first. It de definitely has a color corrector kind of undertone. And since I didn't, you know, I didn't use my regular color corrector, um, this sort of helps. And I'm going to bake a little bit with Ultra Peach. These powders are so good. I know his foundation is going to be good. And I'm assuming... I see girls on TikTok already getting PR. And I think I, I was on YouTube the other day. Um, it wasn't even a, like a... I wasn't even looking at any type of makeup related videos. I like, I like a lot of like hope and videos of people doing good stuff for like homeless people and stuff so I was watching that but then I saw a couple like I saw the heading you know that popped up of girls already reviewing it I was like oh um so I I think it's coming out on the 20 something I know that's probably gonna be like full coverage right all right so the makeup by Mario powder new new purchase um i have this in the shade medium dark honey i did like a sort of not a sort of i did a get ready with me using it i really like it um i haven't used anything else since i purchased it um because i was using a lot of my mac powder this is how much i like it it's really good and I don't feel like I have powder on my face and just a reminder this is what the color medium dark honey looks like I think it's perfect I have been enjoying this oh I love this I love the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer and I'm just gonna use my makeup forever bronzer um, sweet Express. So I love this so much um, for powder bronzer I'm just going to put not as much today because I really like the how the um, Charlotte Tilbury is peeking through. Um, this bronzer will definitely be a repurchase for me. I really, really like it. I really like this bronzer. It's, it's good. Makeup Forever makes such good stuff. Oh, did you see? Um, did you see they're coming out with a cream blush and highlighter palette. Mm. The holiday stuff is dropping all over and <laughs> Whew, I saw that and I saw the pop up on Trend Moon. I'm like, what? It was like, um, I know you guys saw it too. It was a whole line of um, like
she had a lineup of like this other stuff tart and so i don't mess with tart so i didn't even look at tart stuff but it was like tart um i think something else but the makeup forever palette i was like oh lord here we go here we go all right guys as you know i like to take a break from my face when i get to this point so i haven't used my danessa grand work to find the neutrals in so long because i was cheating on it with my patrick ta so i'm going to use it today and i'm going to use the orange shade since i have the you know orange on my cheek are you guys gonna buy that um are you guys gonna buy that makeup forever palette it looks so pretty i mean i have the I have the palettes that have the, um, whatchamacallit, um, I have the foundation, concealer palette, highlighter, and there's some blushes in there that I, I don't really reach for the blushes, but those blushes in the blush and highlighter palette, they really look, they really look like something I can get behind. Like, really looks like something I can get behind. And then I'm going to go in with the powder next to the orange. Um, I see they have some beautiful oranges. They have like a beautiful orange shade in there. They have peach. They have like, they have the shades that I like in that, in that, in that palette. I was looking at that. I was like, oh my God, they have peach or they have this nice um, plum shade. And I'm like, girl, mm. What are they trying to do to me? Because I don't think I'm going to get the Makeup Forever. Not Makeup, the Hourglass palette. Because I I really have to be... Like, I have the ones and I don't use it. And they're really pretty. I'm going to use those. I mean, it's not going anywhere. If I decide to get it, maybe in the sale or something. But I'm not going to, like... Right now, for me, it's a no with the Hourglass. I'm going to go with this shade on my brow bone. The cream and the powder. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, every time I like, I put this palette down and I don't use it and I pick it back up, I'm like, oh my God, this is such a uniquely beautiful palette. Like, there's nothing out there like this. Nothing. And if you have the right brushes, like I always say, piece of cake. <laughs> if you have the right brushes, it's good. It's good. Let's put a little shimmer in the tear duct. I'm going to use this um, Trophies and Truffles from um, Fenty Beauty for a little bronze pop in the tear duct to finish off this eye look. Very simple. Now, do you, any of you guys... Do you guys do the um, the lash clusters? These do it yourselves. I've really been enjoying it by creating my lash map and stuff. Do you guys use it? All right. And speaking of the hourglass palette, I'm gonna use this one with the elephant because it has a um. There's an orange shading here. See, I'm gonna use that orange shade. Like you gotta start using the stuff you have. How many times have I said that? And then I run right out, and I got. I buy something else but see and it has like a pretty glow one thing I would say about these palettes though like if you've never purchased one or you're thinking of purchasing it I mean it's pricey but the quality like the um the product is phenomenal like <laughs> it's phenomenal they make the form they make good powders really good powders beautiful how gorgeous is that orange so nice and i'm gonna use a little bit of the highlighter in the corner because i want to use my other fenty highlighter as well just put it right there and on the nose because i wanted to use um everything is going to be listed in the description box i wanted to put a little bit of this over top i just had it in my head that i'm gonna so I added it to my little basket. This is like a nice cream to powder. And I like to use my fingers and just 
Oh. Beautiful. See how pretty that is? Use your products, ladies. Use it. <laughs> Don't let the holidays, the holiday stuff get you. You don't need it. Let's all tell each other that we don't need it. We may get it though, but we don't need it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Look at my cheek. Ah. Oh. Loving all my recent purchases. These brands are killing it, especially with um the complexion products. All right. Shadow Tilbury. Where's my little card? Because I don't like the setting spray getting too much on my eye because it makes my makeup, the eye makeup move a little bit. All right, guys. I love how this turned out. Wearing the, what did I do with it? The Huda Beauty and... Like when I film, you should see what's in front of me. Everything is all over. Anyway, the Huda Beauty. Oh, I put it back in the basket. And the MAC concealer together. Really nice. Love it. And I love the orange of the Danessa Myricks. All right. Loving my loving my face of the day today. So for lip liner, I did Limitless Brown from Make It Forever mixed with Coin Collector from One Size. And I have a new um, purchase lipstick from um, from Makeup Forever. Of course, it's nude because um, I wanted Limitless Brown. And when I swatched it, it was just, I don't know, something about it. I really thought I would buy it, but I didn't. So I got, I got Can't Stop Espresso. I didn't swatch it on my lips. I swatched it on my hand and I really liked it. It has a nice milky sort of espresso color to it. So this is the first time I'm going to put it on my lips. I was waiting to do this video to use it. It's not like a good nude lipstick. Nothing like a good nude. This is nice. I love this applicator. Hmm. This is interesting. Now that it's on there and it's sitting on my lip for a little bit, it's looking sort of cool tone grayish, right? It doesn't have that milky sort of brownish look anymore. This is very interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Why didn't it stay that color? Hmm. All right, guys, I enjoyed creating this look today. And like I said, all my new products are beautiful. This powder, if you're on the fence, if you don't like powder, you don't like a powdery look, this is the powder for you because look at my skin. The only madness I have is mostly like under the eye, but I also have dry skin. Um, I would say I'm a little disappointed in this. That's the four lighting. This is looking like milky brown, right up my alley. I mean, I do like it. It's very fall. It's very, it's cool tone and it's looking sort of grayish mauve on me. I guess that's the color. But I love the formula and I love the applicator. I'll get used to it. I think it's because I was expecting more brown, but it does look, um, I would say it looks pretty. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you, you guys are getting that makeup for a um, palette. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.